I'm not sure you enjoy it. Um, uh, what's the most inappropriate thing to do during a terrorist attack? Take out your phone and shout out Worldstar. <laughs> Does anyone get that? It's an obscure reference. Um, I find actually that I, I'm getting quite easily offended that um, people are easily offended that people are easily offended. Um, how, how, how long do you think it took the first woman to give birth to work out how it happened? Uh, <laughs> um, if, if you ever watch 9-11 Illuminati conspiracy videos, I've noticed something very interesting. If you uh, watch closely, listen, listen carefully and take note, you're an idiot. Um, <laughs> I think, I think I might be having a midlife crisis, ma mainly because I can't afford to have one. But I think if you can afford to buy a Porsche or a Harley Davidson on a whim, you, you are not having a crisis. I think, I think a modern day midlife crisis would look like a um, middle-aged man buying a pair of Beats by Dre and an Adidas man bag <laughs> and trying to get into drill music. Um, I'm, not, I'm not too happy at the moment though. I, uh, I heard someone that was very close to me recently. I didn't know the guy, he was just very close to me, so I punched him. <laughs> I, um, I was beat up myself actually not so long back, and the, uh, the police said, uh, the police said, we've caught some guys, can you come down the station and point them out? I said, no, I can't, and they said, why? I said, they broke both my arms. <laughs> what, what, why, why do women who wear burkas don't look when they cross the road? Uh, I was just asking if anybody knew why. Um, um, a bit about myself. Um, I, I recently dated a German tennis player, and uh, she, you know, I couldn't really talk with her. I didn't know the language. She loved the sport, and, uh, and she wasn't very adventurous in bed, actually. Um, she had never heard of a pearl necklace. So I said, um, have you guys heard of a pearl necklace? Yeah. yeah, so I said to her, um, look, I'll show you. And to be fair, she took most of it on, but most of it went over her head. <laughs> she, she, wa she wasn't happy. She said, you can't keep doing this and expect me to take it on the chin all the time. <laughs> I said, I said, have you got that all over your chest now? Uh, to be fair though, most of the girls I've come across have had this attitude in me. <laughs> I, I think they should just suck it up. <laughs> What's the point crying over spilled milk? <laughs> um, I don't know if it was a, if it's a German thing or particularly to this one girl, but every time I'd make a sexual advancement towards her, she would be rating me out of ten, and she would be like, uh, nine, 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 she did, she did nine, nine. And uh, to be fair. I, I did know what she meant, and, uh, and it did make it a little harder, but I'm not going to tell her that. But uh, anyway, she ended up breaking my heart, but we all know what love means to tennis players. Sorry about that one. You, you, you might have noticed that I'm a little bit uh, sketchy, a bit all over the place, but uh, not so long back, I, uh, I came out of a rehab, and uh, I learned something in there. I learned that I have an addictive personality, and now um, I'm addicted to rehabs. And now I can't get any help. No, ser seriously though, uh, I had an addiction for about 12 years and uh, it learned me some really valuable life lessons. And uh, I, think, I think the one that I'll take away with me and keep close to my heart is uh, don't do drugs for 12 years. <laughs> um, we're in Mosley and I love Mosley, it's a brilliant place. Are we all from Mosley or around the area? Yeah, hey, yeah it's a brilliant place. It's the sort of place where your um, weed dealer is an uh, anti-capitalist, but, st but still gives you short measures. It's, it's the sort of place where if you see a tent, you think, oh, brilliant, I could get some uh, homemade jam or some butter. And you go, oh, no, no, it's a forensic crime scene. <laughs> no, but it is a brilliant place, brilliant, pe brilliant people, um, artistic, tolerant. No, honestly, it is a really nice place for people. Uh, I'll leave you with this last joke. Uh, this, this, Two cows on a field, and uh, that's not it. Well, it kind of is. This, this, um, and, and the one cow says to the other, "Move!" And the other one goes, "Fuck off and wait your turn, you fuck bastard." <laughs> Thank you very much. You've been a brilliant crowd. Thank you very much. Have a good night.
Judge Kimbell for Carl Adams. Woo!